Hello guys, um, my name is Stephen Hesse from uh, the geekapocalypse.com and Geek Apocalypse Podcast and I'm here with UK Gaming Media Network. I'm, I, I always end up nearly forgetting that, but um, and I'm here with, uh, from Czech Games, Paul Grogan. Hello yes. sir. Hi. Um, so we're here to discuss some of the expansions, yes. uh, in particular Zolkin. Yep. Did I say that right? Um, so if you want to um, quickly uh, yeah, it's, uh, talk it's, about it's it. It's a CG year for expansions. So we've got four expansions this year. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go into the Tolkien expansion first. Um, there are three main parts of the Tolkien expansion. Okay. Um, two of them I've got here. Right. Uh, the third part I don't have here because uh, it's going to expand the game to five players. Oh, okay. um, uh, the developers are still testing exactly how that's going to work, so I can't say because I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it is going to increase the game to five players. That's cool. The other two additions to the game are tribes. So first of all, the game's going to come with 13 tribes because 13 is an important number for the Mayans. Um, and basically what these tribes will give you, uh, they will give the player who's got them, and you get one at the start of the game, a power that affects you and gives you a bonus ability okay. the whole game. Right. So the uh, the base game was um, you know symmetrical. Everybody was doing the same thing. This will make the game so that each player is different and it will affect the game for them. That's cool. So that's that's a nice little addition. Yep. Uh, the main part of it for me is the prophecies. The prophecies are really cool. Again, there is probably going to be thirteen of these. Three of them will get chosen at random at the start of the game. Okay. And will be laid face up. And that's it. Okay, the rest of them will not be used. So every game is different, okay. um, and you will get three, and they will be visible. Now, okay. the game is split into four quarters. Okay, in the first quarter of the game, you don't use these; nothing oh, happens. Okay. But they are there, and you see what they are in advance, so you can prepare for them. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Each of the prophecies has uh, a left and a right, and when the prophecy activates, which is a quarter of the way through the game, yeah. There is a negative effect that applies to the whole game for all players. Oh, okay. okay? So if they try to do this thing, yep. it's made harder. Uh -huh. When the prophecy is resolved, which is a quarter of the game later, okay. there are a bonus scoring round, and the Ooh. two things are linked together. Yeah, yeah. So the thing that, that was harder sense. to do will score you bonus points. Yeah, so there's extra incentive. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. A quarter of the way through the game, the prophecy activates. Okay. Halfway through the game, that prophecy is resolved. Uh -huh. And then this prophecy activates. Okay. And again, there's another negative effect uh -huh. with another bonus score. And then leads to the last one. Um, yeah. We've just played this with a few people this weekend. Yep. Uh, and does it change the game? Yes, because these are visible from the start of the game. Uh -huh. So everybody was like, right, okay, this is now going to change the way that I'm going to play this game. Because I now know if I do this in the third quarter of the game, it's actually going to be harder to do. Uh -huh. But if I do do it, it's going to score me extra points. Yeah. Which, in the sense, an expansion, that's its purpose, really. It's yeah. Adding variety. Adding there's, variety, yeah. There's not much extra complexity added. Yeah. It, it, it's just variety. That, that's, that, I get that. Very yeah. simple, yeah. So that's cool. the Tolkien expansion. Cool. What's okay. the next one you want to do? We'll do Last Will next. Okay, Last yeah. Last Will's a game from a, a couple of years ago. Um, it's uh, a game set in 19th century England. Um, you've all got a rich uncle, you're all cousins of a rich uncle. The uncle's died. <laughs> Who doesn't? Um, <laughs> but in order to inherit his, uh, his, his wealth and fortune, yeah. um, he set all of the nephews, the, uh, you've got to lose all your money basically. So okay. you start with a certain amount of money, the idea of the game is that you lose your money okay. uh, by having extravagant meals out, going on coach rides. Uh, Again, who like doesn't? Yeah. Uh, and when you lose all your money, yeah. you win the game. Okay. Okay, now, the expansion adds uh, occupations. Yep. So at the start of the game, uh, everybody has a job. Oh, no. <laughs> and the problem with a job is it pays you money. Uh -huh. So in a game where you're trying to lose your money, oh, okay. you're now getting income every yeah, turn. Yeah. Okay. Now, as part of the stipulation of the will, and because you're a gentleman, you can't just go up to the boss, punch him in the face, and get fired. You've got to get fired gradually. <laughs> okay. So there are four conditions. So you do steadily worse things. Yeah, and each turn you can cover up one of these conditions if you do the thing that's indicated. Oh, right. Very good. And then cool. your boss goes, right, I'm not happy with that, you're getting a pay cut. Yeah, okay. Okay? That's cool. Uh, so by, by completing these lines, you reduce your income, which ah, of course okay. is, is what you're trying to do. Um, the game will also come with uh, a new plan order, these boards. The game normally comes with uh, a number of spaces that you choose where to go on. Uh, this new variation basically adds six pieces. This is for the two to three player game. Okay. Uh, and these can be either the A side or the B side. Okay. Uh, you decide randomly before, before the game which ones you play with. 
uh, and based on obviously the, the things that are on here it makes every game different so makes again, sense. adding variety but no extra no extra complexity mm -hmm. can you play both the expansions together or is these, are they both separate uh, yeah I think you could probably just play with these if you really want yeah, to yeah yeah okay um, the other thing it gives you is a replacement deck of buildings uh, some of these these buildings are designed to suit to go with the expansion bits. okay uh, so these are replacement buildings, some of which are quite different. The one I'm going to mention in particular is this new townhouse. Um, because this is a building, when you buy it, uh -huh. normally if you don't maintain the house, it depreciates in value every turn. <laughs> which is good, because okay. then you sell it and you've lost money, which is the idea of the game. Yeah, yeah. But with this particular building, you can uh, buy a dog, put the dog in the house, and now when you don't maintain the building it drops by two steps instead of one mm -hmm. because there's a dog in the house wrecking the place okay, okay? <laughs> the thing, one of the things i like about the game is that there is a humorous element to it yeah so, which is always good yeah 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 um, so there's another type of new building which has got two colors on it there's a few different ones in here that, yeah, yeah. that do different things okay so, cool that's the last will expansion brilliant um, um, next, next we'll one. do the dungeon pets expansion yep. now this adds Quite pets a with a Z. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> um, one of the main additions to the Dungeon Pets expansion right, yeah. is a new, uh, a new board. So right. new places where you can place your imps. Okay. Um, and this area here is the black market. So at the start of the game, you will put uh, an item there, a cage upgrade here, a contest there, a cage here. Uh, normally, on the main board, the things refresh every round. Okay. In this, uh, in, on this board, you just place these at the start of the game. Uh, and and they stay it. there, yeah, okay. Uh, and one player each turn can visit the black market. You mm -hmm. have to pay a little bit extra. Yep. But you get the item that, that's here. Yep. Um, the other thing that you can do on this board is you can buy an accessory for your pet. So you can give your pet a nice little ribbon bow, or you can give <laughs> them a spiked collar. Um, <laughs> now, adding this to the pet makes the pet more valuable. Yep. Um, but it makes it harder to maintain because he, he tends to get a little angrier if he's got a spiked collar. Yeah. Um, basically, for people who know the game, you will get to draw an extra card, but then you have to play an extra card on him. Cool. Which, which can be good. Um, the main part of this board that I really like are the facilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one facility comes out at random each round of the game. Uh, and when you go on this space here, you basically place an extra figure on the furthest facility. Okay. Uh, and then you can use any of the facilities. So if you went on here, mm -hmm. you could choose that one, that one, or that one. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Um, Good choice. And the facilities all do different things. Yep. This one in particular allows you to put one vegetable counter in to the facility and you turn it into a lollipop. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you, you mark the, the, the vegetable counter with, with a gold just to yeah. show that, that it's makes a sense. lollipop. And now when you use the vegetable to feed your pet, it also acts as entertainment. Yeah. Okay. So it, it sort of fulfills two needs in one. Yeah, that's so, cool. Yeah, the facilities are really cool. I really enjoy playing with them. As well as that, the game's got new cages, some new contests, some new buyers, and there'll be eight new pets in the game as well. Brilliant. So a whole host of extra stuff, but also an extra board with some cool things. I like, like that. I like when they add extra boards. It makes it really cool. Yeah. yeah, that's brilliant. So that's the Dungeon Pets expansion. Cool. Uh, finally, there'll be a mini expansion for Galaxy Trucker with some more ships. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Galaxy uh, Trucker. Now, I've only looked about these ships this morning. All so right. Hopefully, I'll get them right. Okay. This ship is uh, a new ship for Phase One. Yep. You use the white areas, or Phase Two, you use the white and the yellow areas. Okay. Um, and there's some kind of um, war rift, something going on with this ship. Basically, when some kind of meteorite comes in at the front, okay. If you roll a one or a six, normally that would miss. Okay. On this ship, space warps and the, the meteorite comes in from the side instead. Okay. Okay. That's cool. So you can't avoid it. Okay. Um, the next thing you'll notice that there's more than six numbers down here. The three is on twice and the four is on twice. Yep. So if something's coming in from the side and you roll a four, it actually hits both of those locations. Right. There. Okay. Um, the other thing is that the rift is down the middle. Yeah. So it makes construction harder because your connectors have to match exactly. So normally a universal connector will connect to either a single or a double. Yep. But on the rift here, because of the rift, the universal has to connect to That's a universal. Cool. So it makes it makes it hard. Yeah. Um, I like that. The phase three ship. Uh huh. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say Death Star, but it's a sphere. <laughs> okay. So 
in the previous expansion we had a cylindrical ship where uh -huh. everything on the left had to match with everything on the right. In this one, that same rule applies, but okay. everything on the top has to also match with everything on the bottom. Makes sense. And the yeah. corner pieces have to match with that one and yeah, yeah. it's a sphere. Okay. Um, so placing your engines or your lasers is very difficult because yeah. you have to leave a space behind the engine empty. Yeah. Um, of course, yeah, yeah. And you get penalised on this board. If you leave lots of areas empty, lots of areas of just one space is fine. Mm -hmm. But if you end up leaving large amounts of space empty, you get you get penalised. Cool. And finally there is a phase four ship for those people that have got the expansion. Ah, oh, I love it when you do this. To play round four. <laughs> uh -huh. um, now this ship starts off in four parts. Uh -huh. It's four separate ships. But right. during the construction phase, after you the first after the hourglass is turned over the first time, yep. you roll a dice. Okay. And if you roll a, a two, for example, that means that there's now a join here. So all of a sudden, these two ships join up, and that's now one ship. Okay. With these two still being separate. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after the hourglass is turned a second time, you roll again, and basically. As the construction phase goes on, different parts of this will be joining up. Wow! So it could end up in any kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of again, movement. variety. That's good. Again, again, yeah, yeah. variety. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that's it. As I say, for the Galaxy Trucker, it, it's just a few extra ships. Yeah, it's yeah. Another full expansion. Do you get both of them together when yeah. you buy the? Yeah, yeah. cool. That's brilliant. Um, but for the other ones, yeah, it, it's a full expansion with all yeah, sorts yeah. of extra bits. That's fantastic. Um, uh, they'll all be released at Essen this year, all being well. Okay. Um, some of them are more finished than others. Um, like the new pets, for example, I haven't shown you any of the new pets. Yep. Because the ones that I was shown, I was told Me not, not to be. show them because they're, they're not going to be the ones. Okay. So there are going to be new pets in the game, but they're still, yeah, yeah. They're still being developed. Uh -huh. So where can people get, get this when they come out? Where can people go to if they're on the internet, for example? Are they going to be on your site or can they just uh, get them anywhere? CG don't sell direct, so okay. it'll be available through your normal, through the normal, ones, normal yeah. retailer. But yeah, cool. S, uh, CG aim for an Essen release for the game. Okay. Uh, so if you are at Essen, you'll be able to pick it up there. Brilliant. And then your retailers will get it in at some point after that. Brilliant. I know um, certain areas of, of the world get them soon, Quick, some yeah, areas yeah. get them quite a bit later. That's just, that's just harsh reality. That, that's <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Thanks so much for... Uh, um, I re that was really, really uh, enjoyable and I, I love key thing that I see he has variety so that's really yeah. cool and um, because I, I, I think expansions that's key uh, to making the game more enjoyable yep. so cool thanks so much for showing okay, me that's okay. uh, thanks guys appreciate it cheers